Hello YouTubers, and what I'm going to uh, show you today is a little bit about Camtasia, Camtasia, about this program called Simply 3D, it's by Micrographics, which was sold out in the year 2001 or 2003 to a corporation known now as Corel. However, this being here in Micrographics is no longer, it's not supported, but however it doesn't matter because the updates that were needed were really none. What I'm trying to say is it's a very self-sufficient program and it's not like Windows where you need updates and it needs to be fixed all the time. Well, anyhow, since Corel had bought it, they bought the whole company is what I'm trying to say, is, and it is considered abandonware, so you can do what you want with this. Now, what I'm going to show you is, and I'm going to do my best because there is no manual available for these programs. There's two of them. There's version... Two, which is this one here, and his version three, which is the version over here. And they're great programs. Originally, it came with three firearms, and that was in the bottom catalog, which is over here in the left hand side, as you can see under objects. Well, I went over here to the file one day, and I hit open catalog, and I found it where it said firearms, but I thought it was going to be repeating it, it's going to have the same three firearms. And this is what actually came to appear, and there's actually more in the catalog than I'm showing you here now. And it's rather attractive looking. You can adjust the colors, you know, it, it could be facing you, it could be backwards, you could be looking down the barrel, you can make all those changes with this program, and the best thing is, when it came out, it originally was freeware. And of course, by law, it still is. Once something is free, it's free indefinitely. Here we have three shotguns, it looks like, an AR-15 or M16, depending on the time period, but we're talking about a program here. This is uh, supposed to be what is a 44, and this here is supposed to be a 9mm, but looks more like a Model 1911. And here's your oversized, <laughs> clearly oversized or life-size, quote, shotgun shell. Now, when you initially get the program here, you hit New... Whoops, excuse me. You hit new and you hit open and you open and you select the photo you want to put in your background. Everything here is self is very uh is adjustable, including from the floor to the ceiling, to what you want moving, to the colors, to the aspects, to the shades, to the lighting, RGB is uh what is one of them. And what do they call this here on the bottom under the catalog? The word I wanted to use you also the movements, where you want to rotate the scales in and out, animations, the lights, the coloring of the lights, and what I like is the materials that is available here. You have wood, steel, metal, fi fibers, patterns of all types, and there's a lot of them here. Every time I hit it, it's going to keep going on and on and on in the list here. I also wanted to mention that Micrographics is compatible with Photoshop and uh, <clears throat> excuse me and AutoCAD like all as well. We're going over here to version two under the to show you what the catalog offers immediately. Sunglasses, fish, angle angle square, the bed, the plane, ribbons, butterflies, cantaloupes, machines, bugs. I have to close this here. Yeah, don't ask me these stupid questions. Stop signs, houses, gasoline pumps paperweight whatever here's the help section that I was mentioning before which is pretty much what the manual would tell you getting started customizing it working with the views creating 3d text working with materials manipulating the camera I have a hard time doing that still manipulating the camera because you get you know you get the shadows where you don't want the shadows lighting your scenes changing the background creating 3d files and using it for other with other programs which works just program works great. It works as far back as Windows 95 and it works on Windows 7 which I do not use. It's a shitty pro it's a shitty operating system. I stick with the Windows XP. Maybe sometimes Vista when I feel adventurous for crashing my computer. Oh and speaking of camera angles and here we go and I'll render them so you can see and by the way oh, of course it won't let me render it because it's not where I initiated it. Alright well you're gonna get the idea when I click back up here again so they're not going to let me go back and from the four of you also the introduction that introduced you to the video at the beginning and the end was also done with this program like a graphics 3d as well here's a simple font editors you can do with or without a wizard and by the way the next video preceding this 
will be a much more stricter tutorial and be much more organized. I'm just introducing you, you know, to the quick, quick, quick basics of these two programs. And by the way, the downloads will be available below in the description. At this point, it is down below. Now my font should be pulling up any second. Now you get to choose what font you want, so on and so forth. You can also do the same thing as you're allowed to do with the materials. You can also control the materials, the colors, and the patterns also on your fonts, just like you would do other materials inside this program. In other words, you can have your fonts be made out of wood if you wanted, or plastic, or shiny plastic. You can also have them spinning around, or you can have the whole sentence, or the word, excuse me, spinning around and with lights turning around, or you can do it one letter at a time. So here I picked my screen name, Uzi, and I picked it under the Stargate font, which really doesn't look anything different than Arial at this point. You can do the chamfer, I believe, I believe it's pronounced, chamfer, chamfer, in large, in small, out large, looks like filet, notch. I like the notch. Hit next. I'll do blue plastic next. I'm going to keep the lighting the same because it's really going to be distracting. And I will hit finish. I will render it real quick. Not bad. All right. I can go further with this and I can do other things, but I'm eating up time here. I only allowed 15 minutes on YouTube, plus nobody wants to watch a 15 minute video anyways on micrographics unless they're organizing what they're doing. So alrighty, I want you to do one thing for me and that is to definitely leave a comment and subscribe and take care. Later.